welcome to the Sugar Scoop. I'm sugar and cake artist Shelby Bauer and today we're going to be making a really fun cake inspired by a game that you can download on your phone called Wonka's World of Candy. I decided to go for a landscape theme because everybody loves the candy factory and I wanted to put those chocolate waterfalls in there and all the little candy details. The cake turned out really cute and I did listen to you guys and I cut the cake at the end of the video sure to watch the whole thing and then you'll get to see the cake cutting. Don't just skip to the end. You want to learn how to make an orange slice tree. It's really fun. I'm starting out with a structure that I made out of wood. I cut out four different pieces of wood in this bridge shape. Then I glued them together with wood glue and clamped them overnight and it made this nice bridge for me to set my cake on top of. And I'm covering both of those pieces with contact paper and this is to make them both food safe so that cake can go directly on them. Now I'm gluing my bridge cake structure to the board with just some chocolate. I'm taking an edible marker and I'm just marking where I want the cake to be. So I'm looking at my sketch as my reference. I'm taking a simple butter cake with a purple vanilla bean buttercream. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel for new videos every week. You guys do not want to miss my Christmas projects coming up. I'm stacking my cake up all around the bridge, just giving myself enough cake to work with so that I have something to carve. Any ideas? Then I'm covering that with some chocolate ganache. Building up the back part with some chocolate ganache cake and putting in my supports. I'm using bubble tea straws to hold up a little piece of cake board that I cut out to fit the shape. This is where my waterfall is going to be, so I wanted to build this up a little high. Now I'm using cake pop dough to create more of the fun shapes for the Wonka landscape. It's just chocolate cake mixed with chocolate and it's squished up and then you're able to shape it. Now I'm using rice cereal treat to build up the back part. I ran out of cake, <laughs> so you can definitely make this whole part cake. And then at the very top, I wanted to sculpt it, so I'm using my cake pop dough. And I'm going to cover the whole thing in purple white chocolate ganache. I'm just going to smooth, smooth, smooth until it looks like this, so that it took a little while to get this smooth. I am gluing the fondant on with a little bit of vegetable shortening. This will absorb into the chocolate so it doesn't have a flavor to it. And this is Madame Lulu Chocolate Fondant. This is my favorite fondant. using a modeling tool to make my little chocolate striations. Taking some dry coconut, and these were flakes, so I wanted to make them a little bit smaller because we're working on the grass. So I put it in a blender to get it this consistency. I'm going to add yellow food coloring first because I want a really bright green. And then I'm going to add a little bit of green and blue food coloring until I get it about this color. This is the base of my grass. And then I'm going to pop this into the oven until it's toasted so that it's dry. I'm adding sprinkles to this because I want to add some dimension to the grass. So I'm adding pink sprinkles, purple sprinkles, some rainbow sprinkles. To a 
attach our grass, what we're gonna do is take some green fondant. I rolled it out about an eighth of an inch thick. I'm just kind of cutting the general shape. I'm going to take Tylos mixed with water as my glue and just cover the whole thing and then add my grass mixture. Just rolled it up like astroturf and I'm placing it onto the cake I'm just pressing it in take an exacto blade and clean up the edges Now I'm working on the waterfall area and I wanted this to have that kind of stone look. So I'm taking some gray fondant, just took a modeling tool and drew some stripes, some lines into to make it look like stone. I'm using my modeling tool to kind of perfect um, where it is, making sure that it's nice and stuck on there too because you don't want it falling off. Now I'm just adding some sprinkle details. I just want it to look like there's kind of sprinkle flowers. Now I'm making my chocolate waterfall and I'm gonna be using chocolate fondant, some orange fondant and some white fondant and making a marble look. But I want the marble to be really straight so it looks like it's flowing down. I'm gonna cut out the prettiest part of that marbled fondant and use that as my main waterfall. This is the top part of the hill and I want to have one major waterfall and then two small ones coming branching off of that. Now I'm doing the same process that I did with the waterfall, gluing marbled fondant, flowing out from the waterfall to make it look like the chocolate is flowing around the hills and going around the backside. white and light brown poppy paint and just highlighting. And then I'm gonna take poppy paints shine and go over the whole thing with shine so it looks like it's melted shiny chocolate. So you can see that shine really makes it pop. I'm using food coloring, blue, green, to add some shadows in between the hills and just some spots that would, you know, be shadowed. So now I'm using some light brown royal icing to create that frothiness that would happen if you had a real chocolate waterfall. We're making lollipops. Now I didn't use real lollipops because I really wanted to control the color. You just pretty much make three snakes and then roll them together and then that makes your lollipop. For the cherries I used some red fondant, roll two little balls. I'm using some floral wire to connect them together. And this is actually like one of the things from the game so I wanted to make sure this was included. And then 
I painting the cherries with some brown poppy paint to make them look like they've had chocolate drizzled over the top of them. And the green floral tape is perfect because it makes it look like a cherry stem. Now I'm making my gobstoppers and these were really important because this is a big thing I remember from the movie. So I'm just taking all the different colors that I've been using of fondant and starting off with a small ball of white and then wrapping them in about an eighth of an inch thick fondant pieces until I get to the last one which I wanted to be red and then cut it in half and you have all those little striations so it makes it look like it has different layers. The orange slice tree is my favorite tree in the game. It's so cute and I love orange slices so I really wanted to do this one. So I'm starting out with brown fondant and I have added a little bit of Tylos to it and I make a little log, cut off a little piece of it to make the branch and then I'm going to use my blade and I'm going to make the swirls around it to make it look like it has swirling bark going up it. And then I'm using a lolly stick with a little bit of edible glue on it, pushing it up through the trunk. Then my base for the main part of the tree is going to be rice cereal treat and I'm just going to roll it into a ball. I'm going to glue it onto the lolly stick with some edible glue. I'm making my leaves for the orange tree just using some coconut like I did for the grass but instead of blending it up I'm just going to leave it full. I made some white chocolate, added some orange to it. I wanted it to be more of a blood orange color and then I just dip the whole thing in it like you would a cake pop and cover it with the orange coconut and now I'm making my orange slices so I'm using a darker color fondant on the outside kind of like we did our gobstopper but you're only doing one layer on the outside and then a lighter orange on the inside that's just roll that into a ball and then cover it with a darker orange and then you just slice that I got three slices out of this one piece and then I used my exacto blade to make the little marks in the orange and then I covered the whole thing in edible glitter and this was to make it look like how the orange slices kind of glitter because they have sugar all over them. Now I'm just placing everything. And here's the finished product. I think it turned out really cute. I'm super happy with it. It was so fun to make.